welcome to the Beauty Doctrine YouTube channel, home of functional beauty, where beauty meets health. Today I'll be talking about microcurrent and nanocurrent. This video is way overdue. I know so many of you have been asking. It took me a while because I have to try everything. This research took me a very long time because I had to really dig deep in the science and there's very little science about this topic. However, there are many anecdotal success stories as well as issues that have come up with this technology. So I'm going to break it all down in this video. I'm also going to review the top selling devices on the market for these technologies. So grab your favorite sugar-free matcha and let's get started learning about nano and microcurrents. Microcurrent technology harnesses low level electrical currents ranging from 100 to 1,000 microamps. They help stimulate collagen production as well as muscle toning. These gentle electrical impulses mimic the body's natural bioelectrical currents, making them safe and non-invasive for skincare applications and beyond. But beyond skincare application, beyond collagen, microcurrents can actually have some incredible benefits for our cells. First one is the production of ATP, and that is basically the energy of our cells. We want our mitochondria to be energized. So you want your energy to be up here as we age, it kind of declines. So when you use these types of tools, similar to red light therapy, there is that boost in energy within the cell, which is going to benefit it in the long term. As I was researching the science behind microcurrent with regard to skin improvement, I came across some really great research indicating that it actually has been used for a long time to help heal wounds as well as burns. So keep that in mind. If you're somebody that owns a microcurrent device or thinking about getting one, the benefits can go beyond just skincare. Microcurrent can also help with pain management improved blood circulation and that's because of the massage which is so important i often talk about gua sha for example facial massage using tools or even your fingers can be extremely beneficial to promoting your hydration to promoting collagen production and oxygenation of the skin you're bringing that blood flow to the surface carrying nutrients to the skin. So when you're doing this with microcurrent, you're utilizing additional technology to drive that blood flow. So benefits can actually stack up. There's actually a scientific journal that published this phrase, which I like. A microcurrent has an unrealized potential of healing dysfunctional tissue. So again, the benefits go beyond skincare. So for those of you maybe that bought a microcurrent device and they have not seen those instant results that a lot of us are seeking with, with many tools, know that there are other benefits that you might not see visibly that you're still gaining from using the technology. Now let's chat about nanocurrent. Nanocurrent technology operates at a much lower electrical frequency than microcurrent. What this means is that there is potential for less sensitivity, less broken capillaries, it's more gentle on the skin, there's less of that shock factor. I know when I do my microcurrent on a high setting, I start getting a little, almost electrical shocks on my nose. For some reason, it's just my nose that feels it, it doesn't feel that bad everywhere else. But with nanocurrent, it's just so much more subtle, it's like you're just massaging the face gently. So that's one of the differences. The other difference between the two technologies, think about this, think about microcurrent as you work out for the face. So it targets the muscle primarily. So as you are massaging upwards, you are helping tighten and tone the muscle. Although I have to say that from everything I've read and researched, the results from this are temporary, which is still great, right? Because 
I want you to think of them as going to the gym. So if you're working out your muscles, they're growing. You stop working out, they start growing, and then you start getting sarcopenia, you start losing muscle. Same thing when you're using microcurrent. With daily application or consistent application, you're working out that muscle, then you're gonna start seeing that lifted look from maybe one application, and it varies per person, obviously, but the lift could last up to 72 hours. Whereas with nanocurrent, it is said to work primarily on the skin cells themselves versus the muscle. And so that works to help collagen induction, elastin. It's even said to help with hyperpigmentation and acne. So think of it as the tool that's going to bring out glow in the skin versus microcurrent, which is going to work out the muscle for that lifted look. We see a lot of videos with facial yoga, so I'm sure a lot of you now are familiar with facial workouts. I actually much prefer working out my face with a microcurrent device rather than some of those facial yoga moves that stretch the skin. I see all kinds of exercises where people are pulling their lips and like stretching their, their faces. And so as you are toning that muscle, you exercise it, you might see some lifting and growth. However, that might come at the expense of the skin because you're stretching that skin. Not to say that facial yoga does not work. There are a lot of moves that I find very helpful and I love yoga. I do yoga. I focus a lot on the neck. There are a few moves that I do with the face, but those are the ones that do not include uh, or require skin stretching because we could be fixing one thing and then destroying something else. You do not want to stretch your skin because that can lead to loss of elasticity, especially if you're 40 plus because the skin has a much harder time to bounce back. Let me know you guys if you want me to make a video about this and I can work on a video with my beauty doctrine approved facial yoga moves. Now let's get to the review part. So let's start by reviewing the conductive gels. First of all, it's extremely important for microcurrent to work. You have to have a conductive gel uh, applied to your skin in a nice thick layer. So it needs to be like a, the layer you would use for a mask. You don't want to like blend it into the skin, have it absorbed. You need to be able to feel it on the surface of the skin. Very important to use one that the brand provides. I'm sure there are other ones on the market you could use, you know, like water-based serums and such, but I do recommend that you stick with gel that is designed by a brand that manufactures these tools. Now, the product that you apply has to be completely oil-free. Obviously, if it's the cleaner side, that's also really helpful. From my personal experience, and I have to say I'm very sensitive, super sensitive. Maybe those of you that are sensitive maybe can benefit from this. Everybody else can probably use either conductive gel. For me, the new face one didn't quite work as well. I had some stinging with it. My skin kind of didn't tolerate maybe an ingredient or two in that one. I also wasn't a huge fan of the texture. I felt like I had to continue to reapply. So it's a little bit lighter than the zip one. So this kind of blends in like a serum. The zip one goes on. It's like a most it's a glycerin primarily and so you still feel it on the skin I just applied a layer here so I can demonstrate but I have to actually remove my necklaces before I do so you don't want metal anywhere near the microcurrent device you also don't want to use it if you have any kind of metal in your body you don't want to use it close to the thyroid so when you are applying it to the neck it needs to be just on the sides it can go anywhere on your face you always just go in upward and outward motion so that's really simple. I'm gonna go into the devices that I have used. So I have the Trinity from New Face. I have the Mini. I don't know if that's the correct name, but that's the travel size of Trinity. And then I have the Zip Halo. So now, give me a second. I will remove my necklaces and come back for just a quick demo. All right, necklaces off. Now hair out of the way. It's just, oh, that hurt. <laughs> get it off all right so here we go now um so i did apply a nice thick layer on the side of the neck and i'm going to take the zip so what you do is just really press it to turn it on the light will flicker and then you start from the bottom going up 
slowly and then it's going to kind of buzz there it is and then you go back up again there it is really easy the beautiful thing about this is that it comes with an app i was actually w watching i was hooked on some of the videos there they have tutorials for everything so how to use it for around the lips the eyes the neck jowls all of that and so that's the demo it's simple do you really need the app? Maybe not, but it's helpful. It's a free app, so if you end up getting this device, you know, the app can be very helpful. Let's go a bit deeper into the devices themselves. So as far as size, you'll see that the Zip Halo is pretty small, and so it can fit easily into your makeup bag. So you can, you know, you throw it with your makeup, your skincare, easy. Also the grip, it's pretty easy. As far as new face, this is the Trinity. The head is actually movable. So if you press this, it comes off. They have a few other attachments that you can use, kind of alternate with this one. I think that's really the only difference between this one and the mini or the travel because i find that the actual heads are very very similar i don't know if there's any difference there as far as the size so when it comes to the application i think you'll get the same type of application so but it's just about whether you want the additional attachments if you're somebody that's looking to save money or looking for something small i prefer personally something small because i travel a lot that's my personal preference but of course you can figure out what works for you best but here is the difference between the two devices now when it comes to my personal experience with these devices i wasn't too consistent with it but every time i used it if i had an event i was going out and i'm like okay i'll just test it out i did see a difference i even posted a video about it after one use and i could see a really good lift that lasted for the rest of the day so that was really nice the one thing though i found it a little bit strong for me i started getting just a little almost like a subtle shocks of electricity nothing that's intolerable but i could feel it i could feel that energy you know on the side of my nose every time I used it. Other than that, uh, my experience with it was very pleasant. The gel wasn't my favorite. I had a much better experience with microcurrent but using the zip serum in preparation for this video this morning i was digging in deep in on their website and i was like oh my god some of these ingredients are pretty phenomenal i want to order some of those serums or actually gels because they're thicker i want to try them out um, for skincare because that was maybe why i wasn't super consistent with new face when i first got it and i've had this for you know a couple years now the first deterrent was that the gel didn't quite agree with my skin but the second deterrent was that I just didn't have a lot of time because I would have to apply the gel, do the treatment, wash it off, and then go back to my skincare routine. Just knowing that they have ones uh, or gels with skincare ingredients, I'm really, really curious to try that out and possibly just put that on you know, do the treatment and go to bed. That's gonna be phenomenal. So I'm going to keep you posted. Make sure you follow in. Also comment if you have questions about any of this, if there's any specific gel or even another device that you want me to test out, just let me know and that'll give me ideas for future videos. So now you might be wondering, what is my recommendation? What should I start with? Well, if you are entertaining a purchasing a microcurrent device, it really depends on your concerns. If you're looking for toning, for lifting, I would probably get started with the microcurrent. Just know the caveats there and know about the gel. If you're somebody that's sensitive, maybe purchase a different gel uh, or try it out. You know, the first one, you know, comes in the box to see if your skin actually, you know, does well with it. You never know. As far as the zip, I like this a lot because it's good for traveling. I like the additional benefits of the nano current technology, which has a lot more to do with the skin rather than the muscle. So this helps with the collagen induction, with the elastin, you know, with that tightness. They even stay hyperpigmentation. So I'm really looking forward to being more consistent with it. And then I'll definitely keep you posted 
if I see an improvement with hyperpigmentation. I've used the zip now for about a couple weeks in preparation for this video. You know, my skin has been looking really great, so I have no complaints. I think it's doing something. I'm not seeing a huge lift, but I do see like following the application, I do notice that skin appears to be tighter. So we need to manage our expectations with these devices. I do think that everybody should own some type of microcurrent or nanocurrent device and definitely red light therapy device, but we'll talk about that in another video. Like I have to always plug it in because I love red light therapy so much. Skin level, muscle level. A lot of us will need both. Not saying that you have to purchase both, but kind of decide for yourself based on this video, what direction you wanna go and where you wanna start. Now, let's chat about maybe counterindications, side effects, who shouldn't use it, and that type of stuff. So if you are pregnant, if you have a pacemaker, if you have cancer, you do not want to be using a microcurrent or nanocurrent device. If you have seizures or if you tend to have broken capillaries and conditions such as rosacea when the skin is really at a fragile state, I would recommend staying away from energy devices as a whole. If you get filler, it might cause filler migration. So you always wanna be very careful. Although I see a lot of plastic surgeons saying, oh yeah, it's okay. No, filler can move, especially when you are applying pressure with your device. So whether it's microcurrent or even gua sha, um, you want to be really careful applying you know, um, pressure and massaging the face in the areas where you have filler. Another thing I wanted to talk about is that there is this study that I came across that talks about microcurrent and its effect on fat loss. Yes, fat loss. And so that has me really interested in the body tool. I've been wanting to get one for a while leading up to summertime. That is a device that I'm, I'm super interested in. I'm going to link up the study in the comments. It shows that, you know, people that work out and use my microcurrent 30 minutes following the workout they've seen much better results in fat loss than those who just worked out and the last thing I'll say is manage your expectations I've seen this over and over again in the beauty industry we're made so many promises and so people spend two or three hundred dollars on a device and then they expect that their skin is gonna get transformed but you have to have a lot of things in place for you to be able to see the results from a device. I'll give you an example. You could be applying microcurrent, you could be doing red light therapy, great skincare, but let's say you're going through a really stressful time or your diet is horrible, you're traveling, you're eating a lot of junk, you might not see the results that you are supposed to see. If you are in a place where there isn't heightened cortisol that is causing you know, destruction and no collagen and elastin. And so you have to understand that aging happens every day. As I'm making this video, I am aging, right? And so a lot of times people kind of put a timer on devices when they purchase them and they start measuring, but you have to look at your lifestyle holistically in order to see if your expectations are really reasonable. And so my take on this is that you should be able to see a result from both, whether you're using Zip to focus on the skin, whether you're using the new face to focus on the muscle or a combination of both, you should see some results. And of course, when you stop, what did we say? It's like going to the gym, you stop, you're gonna lose those results. Why? Because we don't just stagnate. Aging is a dynamic process, we're aging daily, so we always have to be applying good lifestyle practices and then boost in with these tools and skincare that are available to us to help slow down the aging process and manage our expectations. I also would invite you to leave a comment if you have used one of these devices. It's always really helpful for the entire community to learn. Uh, my experience might not be your experience or somebody else's experience, so collectively we can determine if something is really worthwhile for everybody else. Your comments and input are always very helpful for me and for everyone else. So uh, I have a birthday coming up in a couple of months. I'm going to turn 47. And so my goal for this upcoming year is to be really consistent with my micro and nanocurrent. And of course, I'll keep you posted with the results. 
If you've had any experience with the zip or the microcurrent, please go in the comments and let me know what your experience was, whether positive or negative. Anything you contribute with is very helpful to me in making more informed videos in the future. And if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and like this video and maybe even share with a friend. Help us grow and get the word out about ways to get your skin healthier from the inside out and outside in. I'm always reaching out to brands for discounts. I think there is a discount code that I'm gonna plug into the caption. And for more education on how to age better, check out my courses on thebeautydoctrine.com. They are a wealth of knowledge. I dumped all of the research, everything I've learned over the last 27 years being a beauty professional as well as my own personal research in the realm of health, of functional medicine and beauty, marrying all of that together and putting it into those courses. So check them out. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Be well, be safe, be beautiful. Till next time.